Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the scheduling feature in Gmail or G Suite Mail to create a consistent communication schedule with your students. I talked about this in a webinar last night. One of the things I'm doing in my rapid transition to teaching high school online is I'm trying to send my emails at the same time that my students would normally be in my classroom, just trying to keep that consistency of communication. So for example, I have a class that meets at 9.02. I'm scheduling emails to go out at 9.02. And here's how you can do that. So I'm gonna use my dog's email address here, but it works the same way in my school email address. Let's go to the compose button. I'm gonna write out the message just like we normally would. Maybe I'm gonna CC all my students or BCC all my students. So I'll put a max. And I'll put in uh, Finn. There we go. Okay. And I'll say now information about assignment. Okay. And I'll we'll put in whatever information I was going to write out. You know, high class. Okay. All right, write out my message. Okay. Now before I hit the send button. Go over here to this little menu next to send, go to send options and hit schedule send. Now you can pick any date and time that you like. You can see the last scheduled time I used, or I can pick one of the default ones or pick a new date and time. Maybe I wanna have this go out on Thursday. I'm gonna have it go out, let's say at 9.02, a.m. when my class meets. Now we'll schedule that send. And you'll notice on the left hand side of your inbox you'll now have a scheduled tab. Now depending on the layout of your inbox you may have it further down under your more menu. Go to scheduled you can see your message there. If you need to edit just click on it. You can go in hit the cancel send and edit the message and then schedule it again. So that's how you can use the scheduling feature in Gmail to create a consistent communication schedule for your classes. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.